What is going on guys? Brought Rosine over here with the trailer to pick up some gun safes today. Got the nasty red. So I put it in sport mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy, oh wow. Holy crap, that was, that was something. You actually left streaks coming right out of your spot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we're on our way to the dealership. Actually, it's a Ford dealership. Yes. And it's not to trade this in for a GT Mustang, unfortunately. We're going to go get the King Ranch. King Ranch. And possibly... If they give me a good enough offer, let them buy this car off me. Yeah. The market is too good not to try to make a little extra catch. Yeah, see, when I sold the Cadillac, people are like, oh my gosh. He lost all of his money. He sold a car. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I just would rather have a little more of it, honestly. Not to mention, we just put so many freaking miles on that thing. I said, listen, guys, never in the history of luxury SUVs will you ever be able to put 40,000 miles on a car in 12 months and make $10,000 on it. Oh, yeah. I so mean, I said, it's gone. <laughs> I already went to one dealership and got an offer for them to buy this, and they're already wanting to give you more than what I paid for it. Yeah. So to drive it for a year, put over 10,000 miles on it and then sell it and make money. Why would you do that? And if there's people out there that have vehicles with loans on them and you're looking to get out of them, let's say, if you've considered it, this is your only chance probably to ever actually possibly get out of a car that you bought. This might be the only chance to get out of it and not lose money on it. Does this look familiar? That's where we did some zero to 60 pulls in nasty red and the silver bullet third gen when I filmed that video with you a couple years ago, I remember that? That was right here. We did Whitey over by the other farm, but I was watching your video last night about the zero to 60. I think Whitey got it in nine seconds, didn't he? Pretty, yeah, it was pretty quick. Pretty yeah, quick. I think it was pretty, uh, just under 10 or something. But Whitey didn't have anything done other than tuning. It's like old tuning too. Old, yeah, like old, old edge performance tuning, which, you know, uh, it, no, it, it, no it did it fine. of injectors and stuff, it just had the pusher system in and when we did that, I don't even know if they had the pusher system done. That was way back when I first started YouTube. There's a sweet second gen. I mean, but you don't want something Getting $100 like that. for the diesel. <laughs> yeah, for a three quarter tank, yeah, baby. Three, three tank. Yeah. But will you miss the $4 a gallon for the premium fuel right now? <laughs> I do put high octane in this. So. <laughs> It's That's the thing, is like, I was thinking about, expensive. well, if I start driving the King Ranch again on the daily, I'm going to start putting diesel in, and I'm like, less MPGs, but yet it's cheaper, so it'll probably balance out. I was telling him, I'm like, dude, I'm like, you could sell this thing, and the thing is, you've got a 100,000 mile pickup truck that most people dream of being able to drive, just sitting there, paid off by the barn, like, not getting driven. I'm like, I, I, I'm like... Dude, you've got a really nice pickup truck. I don't think you'll miss the car that much. Yeah, I should just clean it up a little bit. Like, maybe do a little bit of frame kind of clean up and then just yeah. actually take better care of it now. Just neglected. neglected. Just a little neglected. I put it in sport mode so I could go the speed limit. <laughs> Literally, he's being serious. <laughs> there she is. You miss it? They put new tie rods on? Yeah, you can see them. Oh, wow. Yeah, both sides. That's the, that was the cleanest thing on the truck <laughs> underneath. So I'm actually in the 392, following my dad in the King Ranch. Apparently that dealership was not able to do an on-the-spot appraisal and offer on the car there's another dealership in town though where he's actually going to head to this afternoon that can do an on the spot appraisal and purchase so that's pretty nice because he should be able to actually drive right up into that dealership get a quote which they already gave him an estimate on what they'd be able to give him over the phone and he should be able to literally just pull up in there and literally they'll cut him a check and he'll walk out the door. If you have not done so yet, you can enter to win our 2005 5.9 Cummins. It's a fully built 5.9 
with built trans, lots of power, tuning getting done actually this week. And um, it is a sweet truck, it's an animal. Uh, if you wanna get entered to win that, it's this simple. Go to lmpgear.com, it's our merch website. Buy anything on the store, and when you support us by buying our merch to help this all happen, you get entered to win a free truck plus $5,000 cash, and we give away a truck pretty much every four to six weeks. So if you wanna get in on that, go to the website, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win our current truck giveaway, and it's that simple. All those GM trucks that you guys are waiting to get shipped out to your dealership to pick up, there they all are with no chips in them. They've been adding in gravel lots to park these things all over the place around here because they can't send them out. What a bummer. I did see a big old freaking uh, Dodge Dually with some flags on it over here, second gen. Trying to catch up to him. No, not that one. You can see him up ahead here. He's way up there. Right up there. Let's see if we can get a good shot of him here before he disappears. I like the flags, bro. I do like the flags. The dually's back. He must have just taken another route to get to the same place. We are in the CRV, the Silver Bullet here, and uh, we're gonna be giving Josh a call here. He's a winner of our OBS 7.3 Power Stroke. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen that video yet or whatnot. Uh, I did mention though in one or two videos now who won the OBS Ford. It's Josh Bassford from Auburn, Illinois, and uh, we're gonna be giving him a call here, just kind of feel out how he's feeling about this win and this truck and if it's his first truck. So we're gonna give him a call and Congratulate him. Just see how he's reacting. Hey, what's going on? Oh, not too much. Sorry about that. My phone automatically sounds calls that doesn't know the number two. <laughs> no, no, it's good. I do the same thing with mine most of the time for most calls. <laughs> he called me on a Monday, dude, and did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he's probably like, well, I guess he's not interested. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm really interested. Oh, no, he's interested. Dude. Oh, I believe it. Congratulations, man. Holy hey, smokes. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dude, I never thought in a million years I'd win something like this. Dude, <laughs> I, I love making these calls because like I'm making the call that most people think they're never gonna get. It's one of these things that'll never happen and I get to call people and let them know that it happened like all the time. It's kind of fun. It's not something a lot of people get to do. Yeah, I mean, is this gonna be your first diesel or you had no, a diesel? Uh, it'll be my third one, actually. Your uh, third uh, one? Yes, I had a 0560. Okay. And I honestly wish I never got rid of it. Uh, actually, I got really good fuel mileage. And I got rid of it because I was young and dumb. Um, I thought the head gasket was going on it. It started blowing white smoke. Turned out it was an injector after I traded it off. But I currently have a uh, 0864 uh, power stroke, one ton, single wheel. Okay. And. Uh, Honestly, everybody, you know, complains about these six fours and stuff, and I haven't had no issues out of it, but, you know, I don't run the snot out of it. I just, it's my weekend truck. I use it to pull trailers, haul hay and stuff, and, uh, you know, 
No, I just try to keep it looking nice. And it's more of a yard ornament than anything. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, because you drive, uh, you drive truck ride all week. So I mean, you don't, you're not just sitting around driving your pickup all the time, right? Yeah, um, actually, I got a little 2000 Honda Civic that's my gas saver. So hey. I got it back and forth to work. And then, like I said, if I get the wild hair, I'll take the truck. To it. So have you like wanted a 7.3 for a while, or has it just kind of been like, ah, I like Fords, you know, so I'll enter for it, or? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. My uh, I was first introduced to those trucks at a young age, young age. Okay. I was probably like, I'm gonna say anywhere between the age of ten and thirteen. Gotcha. And uh, my dad's friend owned a concrete business. He had a one-ton dually single cab. Which he didn't have the regular original bed on. He just had a toolbox bed. Yeah. And uh, you know, one day he asked me to move it across the yard, and it was a, it was an S three fifty seven three. It was a 97. And uh, I was like, I don't know how to move this. It's got a five speed in it. Never drove a stick in my life. Yeah. And he's like, here. And he showed me how the clutch worked and everything. And ever since then, I've always loved that body style of Ford. And that 73, man, I've always just loved that rattly noise and all that. Oh, I yeah. I just love everything about them. They got power. You know, they're not the fastest thing, but hey. They pull trailers really well down the road. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> they run get My dad, I mean, that's all I grew up around was my dad had an 0273. I've never won anything, but, like, what's, like, the feeling, like, you get a call and you're like, are you kidding me? Like, I actually just uh, won a freaking I'm truck. I'm to with you, man. Uh, Gene called me, and I didn't answer the phone right off the bat because I didn't hear it ring. Yeah. And then I'm at work, and I, just, I look down, I got a new voice, and I'm like, what the heck's this, you know? And, yeah. And he left me, like, for three minute freaking voicemail and I'm like this can't be real there's no way I've never won anything off one of these things I call him back and he tells me the whole spiel and everything he, and then he and there's just a long pause on there inside the phone and he's like you still there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like dude I'm, I'm just telling you the truth man I've, I've had a hard life I've always you know I've always been like that kid pick glass or you know just I always had to work for everything I've had. I always been, you know, not yeah. that best of luck. You know, I might yeah. win a scratch off here and there, you know, like $5, yeah. $100 scratch off. But I never in my life pictured I'd win me a truck. And I told him, what I'm telling you, I told him the exact same thing. And I was telling him, I was like, man, I think it's, it'll be surreal and hit me majorly when those keys go in my hand. Dude, it's a sweet truck. I think you're going to enjoy it. I don't know how you wouldn't, but, you know. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. I'm going to be just as surprised as you will be when I get there. Because you told me your son's birthday's on the 11th, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, you, you got something coming your way too, man. Heck yeah. Congratulations again, man. I appreciate you entering, placing the orders, man. We can't do this kind of thing for people like you without people like you. I really mean that. We really can't do that without without people supporting the brand. That's how it all happens. That's how you grow. That's how you uh, become bigger. Absolutely. That's understandable. I will see you this weekend. We'll keep in touch through text if anything comes up, but we should be good to go Saturday morning. Yeah, man. I just need uh, information on what, where I need to go and all that. That's all I still need. Sounds good. We'll be in touch. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, that was Josh Basford from Auburn, Illinois. He is coming the entire way over here Friday night. Going to be making the trip out here and picking up his truck Saturday morning. We've got him a hotel room not too far from here, about 10 minutes out. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I can tell he's freaking excited. He's like, dude, I don't think it's going to stop all the way until I get there, until I'm back home. I mean, he's just ecstatic, super excited about it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget that if you want to enter and be as lucky as Josh right there with his OBS Power Stroke and $5,000 cash, you guys can be just as lucky by going to lmpgear.com. Just like he said, he bought a few products throughout the different entry periods, place an order and check out. And just like he said, he didn't have the most entries in the giveaway, but he walked away with the prize. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.